What is up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mocho. And we're back with a new day, bringing you another reading from what? The Holy Scripture. That's right. All right. So today, we are going to be covering Genesis 29. To 31. 29 to 31. Alright? So, let's begin. Jacob marries and has children. As he returns to his mother's country, Jacob meets his uncle Laban and agrees to work for Laban in exchange for his daughter Rachel. But Laban receives Jacob deceives Jacob, giving him his older daughter Leah, instead of Rachel. Ultimately, Jacob gets both Rachel and Leah, but Laban, Laban's deception must surely have reminded Jacob of his own deception, when, which forced his flight to Haran in the, pla his, the first place. This might be expected, rivalry emerged, rivalry Rivalry, rivalry emerges between the two sisters, and childbearing quickly becomes the focus of the rivalry. Jacob fathers twelve sons and a daughter, some by his two wives and some by their maids, Zephla and Bella, who were who are given to Jacob as part of the contest to give Jacob children. The account begins as Jacob nears the land of his kinsmen. Jacob meets men of Haran. Haran. Then Jacob continued to on his journey and came to the land of his the eastern peoples. There he saw a well in the open country with three flocks of sheep lying near, near it because the flocks were watered from the well. The stone over the mouth of the well was large. When all the flocks were gathered there, the, sh the sheepherds would roll the stone away from the well's mouth and water the sheep. Then they would return the stone to its place over the mouth of the well. Jacob asked the sh shepherds, my brothers, where are you from? We're from Haran, they replied. He said to them, Do you know Laban, Nahor's grandson? Yes, we know him, they answered. Then Jacob asked them, Is he well? Yes, he is, they said. And here comes his daughter Rachel with the sheep. Look, he said, the sun is still high, and it's not time for the flies to be gathered. Water the sheep and take them back to Peshur. We can't, they replied, until all the flax were gathered and the stone has been rolled away from the mouth of the well, then we will water the sheep. Jacob meets Rachel. While he was still t talking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she was a shepherd. Then Jacob saw Rachel's daughter of his uncle Laban, and Laban's sheep he went over and rolled the stone away from the mouth of the well and watered his uncle's sheep. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and began to weep out loud. He had told Rachel that he was a relative of her father and the son of Rebekah, so she ran and told her father. As soon as Laban heard the news about Jacob, his sister's son, he hurried to meet him. He embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his home, and there Jacob told him all these things. Then Laban said to him, You are my own flesh and blood. Jacob works to get Rachel. After Jacob had stayed with him for a whole month, Laban said to him, Just because you were a relative of mine, you should work for me for nothing? Tell me what your wages should be. Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the older was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah was weak eyes had weak eyes, but Rachel had a lovely figure and was beautiful. 
Jacob was in love with Rachel and said, I'll work for you seven years in return for your younger daughter, Rachel. Laban said, it's better that I give you to her, give her to you than some other man. Stay here with me. So Jacob stayed seven years to get Rachel, but they seemed like they were only days to him because of his love for her. Laban tricks Jacob. Then Jacob said to Laban, give me my wife. My time is, is completed, and I want to make love to her. So Laban brought together all the people of the place and gave a feast. But when the evening came, he took his daughter Leah and brought her to Jacob, and Jacob made love to her. And Laban gave his servant Zeppelah to his daughter as her attendant. When the morning came, there was Leah. So Jacob said to Laban, What is this have you done to me? Excuse me. Sorry. I served you for Rachel, didn't I? Why have you deceived me? Laban replied, it is not our custom here to give the younger daughter in marriage before the older one. Finish this daughter uh, bridal week, then we will give you the younger one also, in return for another seven years of work. And Jacob did so. He finished the week with Leah, and then Laban gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Laban gave his servant Blah to his daughter Rachel as her attendant. Jacob made love to Rachel also, and his love for Rachel was greater than his love for Leah. He also worked Laban for Laban another seven years. Leah has four sons. When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved and en enabled her to conceive, but Rachel rem remained childless, Leah became pregnant and gave birth to his son. Then named him Reuben. For she said, It is because the Lord has seen my misery. Surely my husband will love me now. She conceived again, and when she gave birth to this, a son, she said, Because the Lord <coughs> heard that I am not loved, he gave me this one too. She named him Simon. Again she conceived. And she gave him birth to a son, and she said, Now, at last, my husband will become attached to me, because I have borne him three sons. So he was named Levi. She conceived again, and when she gave birth to a son, she said, This time I will praise the Lord. So she named him Judah. Then she stopped having children. Balaam has two sons. When Rachel saw that she was not bearing Jacob any children, she became jealous of her sister. So she said to Jacob, Give me children or I'll, I'll die. Jacob became angry with her and said, I am, am I in the place of God who has kept you from having children? Then she said, Here is Bella, my servant. Sleep with her so that she can bear children for me and I can too build a family through her. So she gave him her servant, Bella, as a wife. Jacob slept with her, and she became pregnant and bore him a son. Then Rachel said, God has vindicted me. He has listened to my plea and given me a son. Because of this, she named him Dan. Rachel's servant, Bella, conceived again and bore Jacob a second son. Then Rachel said, I have a great struggle with my sister, and I have one. So she named him Napolithi. Zeppelin has two sons. When Leah saw that she had stopped having children, she took her servant Zeppelin and gave <coughs> her to Jacob as a wife. Leah's servant Zeppelin bore Jacob a son. Then Leah said, What good fortune! She named him Gad. Leah's servant Zeppelin bore Jacob a second son. Then Leah said, How happy am I? The, the woman will call me happy. So she named him Asher. Leah has two sons' daughter. During wheat harvest, Reuben went out to the fields and found some mandrake plants, which he brought to his mother Leah. Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But when she said to her, Wasn't it enough that you took away my husband? 
Will you take my son's mandrakes too? Very well, Rachel said. He can sleep with you tonight in return for your son's mandrakes. So when Jacob came in from the field that evening, Leah went to meet him. You must sleep with me, she said. I have hired you with my son's mandrakes. So, the, so he slept with her that night. God listened to Leah, and she became pregnant and bore Jacob a fifth son. Then Leah said, God has rewarded me, me for giving my servant to my husband. So she named him Issachar. Leah conceived again and bore Jacob a sixth son. Then Leah said, God has presented me with a precious gift. This time my husband will treat me with honor because I have borne him six sons. She will name him Zebulon. Sometime later she gave birth to a daughter and named her Dinah. Joseph bore born to Rachel. Then God remembered Rachel. He listened to her and enabled her to conceive. She became pregnant and gave son to a son birth to a son, and she said, God has taken away my disgrace. She named him Joseph and said, My Lord add me add to me another son. May the Lord add to me another son. Laban and Jacob outsmart each other. Sometime after Joseph is born, Jacob decides to return to Canaan, where he agrees with Laban as the appropriate wage for his many years of sin. Laban once again deceives Jacob. Not to be outdone, Jacob diverse a scheme of his own to increase the flock which are rightfully his rightfully by his their agreement. Apparently Jacob holds an early brief that whenever an object sheep happen to view while mating will affect the genetic characteristics of their young. Bargain for servants' pay. After Rachel gave birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Send me on my way so I can go back to my own homeland. Give me my wives and children for whom I have served you, and I will be on my way. You know how much, I work, how much work I've done for you. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. He added, Name your wages, and I will pay them. Jacob said to him, You know how I have worked for you, and how your livestock have bared under my care, bared under my care. The little you have done have before. I came has increasingly greatly the and the Lord that has blessed you whatever I have been. But now when may I do something for my own household? What shall I give you? he said. Don't give me anything, Jacob replied, but if you will do this one thing for me, I will go and tend your fl your flocks and watch over them. Let me go through all your flocks today and remove them from them every speckle and spotted sheep, every dark colored lamb and every spotted or speckled goat. They will be my wages and my honestly will testify for me in that the future whenever you check on wages you have paid me. Any goat in my possession that is not speckled or spotted or lay any lamb that is not dark colored will be considered stolen. Agreed, said Levain. Let it be as you have said. Laban deceived Jacob. That same day he removed all the male goats that were streaked or spotted, and all the speckled or spotted female goats that had white on them, and all the dark colored lambs, and he had placed them in the care of his sons. Then he had a three day journey between himself and Jacob, while Jacob continued to tend the rest of the Laban's flocks. Jacob tricks Laban. Jacob, however, took fresh cut branches from popular almond and plain trees and made white strips on them by peeling, peeling the bark and exposing the white inner wood 
of the branches. Then he placed and peeled the peeled branches and all the watering thrusts so that they would be directly in front of the flocks. When they came to drink, when the flocks were in the heat and came to drink, they melted in front of the branches and they bore young that were streaked and speckled and spotted. Jacob set apart the young of the flock by themselves. But made the rest face the streaked and dark colored animals that belonged to Laban. Thus he made separate flies for himself and did not put them with Laban's animals. Whenever the stronger females were in heat, Jacob would place br the branches in the thighs in front of the animals so that they would mate near the branches. But if the animals were weak, he would not place them there. So the weak animals went to Laban and the strong ones went to Jacob. In this way, the men grew extremely prosperous and came to an own large flock and female and male servants and camels and donkeys. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was today's reading. So let's go do a quick reflection. Quick reflection. Quick reflection. So uh, Jacob goes back to his mother's homeland. You know, because his brother's trying to kill him. And uh, she meets up with uh, he meets up with his uncle. Who um, before he meets up with him, he see he goes to the well and sees his uh, uh, shepherds. You know, they're all chilling. You know, watering the animals. And he's asking him, do you know his uncle? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, there's his daughter right there. As soon as he saw his daughter, he fell in love with um, Rachel. And so now he's got to go. And he went to uh, his uncle. And he's like, look, I'll work for you for seven years. we get your daughter. And, um, you know, what's his name? What's his uncle's name? Laban. So, uh. His uncle Laban, you know, lies to him and gives him uh, his older daughter, uh, Leah, after he just worked for seven years for him. And then he's like, but I wanted your your second daughter. I wanted Rachel. You know, you promised me Rachel. And he's like, well, we got to give you the first daughter first. Cause, like, the first daughter, you got to get married before the second daughter. So he ends up giving them all Rachel, but has to work another seven years. But yeah, so he's literally, they're just like, he's just taking advantage of him and all the time that he's doing. But yeah, it's crazy. There's like a big ass family. So, um, Jacob has like a huge family going on. Like he's got four wives right now and they are like, one of them has six kids. One has like four kids. The other one has like three kids. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I'll ask kind of how many kids he's got right now. But he's got a big family right now. He's got a huge family right now. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll probably go over that next week. So, yeah. Well, that was today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. All right. If you could, go down and hit subscribe. I need a 1,000 subscribers for today's month. All right? Don't fuck around. All right. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Mucho. And it's time for me to skedaddle on out of here. Peace.